It's a question I've been getting a lot these days. Skojo, how did you get so good with your drone that it looks like it's attached to your body? Well, it's not a drone. It's a 360 camera on an invisible selfie stick. Say what? Greetings and salutations. I am Skojo in 360 and it is getting to be fall in Central Oregon, which means my days of playing disc golf are getting smaller and smaller. So I gotta get out here, enjoy it while I can, but cross country skiing season is on the way. I'm very happy about that. But let's talk again about the invisible selfie stick. My boy Jason asked me this question, not his real photo. He said, dude, you've gotten to be so good with your drone, it looks like it's attached to your body. But again, it's not a drone, it's an invisible selfie stick. So let me grab my discs. And let's break down the physics. Here we go. Okay, let's break down exactly first what a 360 camera is. You've got two fisheye lenses, one on both sides of the camera. Now you'd think they'd only need to shoot 180 degrees on both sides, but what they do is shoot about 200 degrees on both sides. So you have a little bit of slop so that when you take it either through the camera, what they call stitching, or when you stitch it in your post-production, you can take that extra slop and make the invisible selfie stick invisible. Take a look at what I did earlier. I put it on a mount where I could flip the camera up and then back into place. It appears and reappears just like magic. So because it's getting 360 degrees worth of data, that's why you can see things like tiny planet videos and all that, because you've got all the 360 data shot into one camera. So that's how you end up getting the invisible selfie stick along with one little pointer before you go out and buy your selfie stick is get one that's designed for 360 because you have to have a thin enough mount at the top that it doesn't show up as an artifact in your video. So don't just get any selfie stick, get one that is designed for a 360 camera. Now there are a lot of selfie sticks out there that are made for 360 and most of them are pretty good. Check out some of the ones that might have like a counterweight on them in case you wanna put it on a tripod so it doesn't blow over and scratch your lens like what happened to me. But for the most part, again, focus on the fact that you need an invisible selfie stick that is made for a 360 camera. Money. Now be sure and stay tuned. I've had many people say, wow, it's amazing how you use that selfie stick and you almost can't even tell it's there. So yes, I do have some techniques on how to use the invisible selfie stick so it almost doesn't even look like it's there. So be sure and subscribe to this channel and you'll get more information about how to be as rad as I am. <laughs> or as big of a dork. <laughs> Now, obviously the name of my show is The 360 Community, so please leave your comments and recommendations in the comments section below. And also, please try to spread the love. There are a lot of people out there trying to get into 360, so share this video with your friends about the fact that this is actually an invisible selfie stick. Let's get more people into our community. I'm Skojo in 360. It's time to dance out of here. Invisible selfie stick style. <laughs> <laughs>